as you can see, I'm dressed for a blizzard. And meanwhile, Kyle has a long sleeve shirt on. <laughs> so anyways, let's make some lunch. I'm having a bacon, egg, and cheese. So I'm making my own bacon in the oven. We're going to do a bacon video coming soon. So stay tuned how to make your own bacon. Um, anyways, so I'm going to make the bread. It's the same bread we used yesterday. Um, the link will be down below. It's from the Diet Chef. I only tweaked a few changes to it. Um, just basically beefing up the protein powder, but then you're going to add your water to your dry ingredients and then mix that so that everything's good and incorporated. And then we're going to pop it in a microwave for anywhere from 90 seconds to two minutes. It'll depend on your microwave. So anyways, give it a couple thumps before you put in the microwave so it lays flat as possible while it cooks. And then I'll pop it in the microwave. Meanwhile, we're going to do some, fry up some eggs and a tablespoon of butter. I have three for me, three for my dad in this pot, <laughs> salt and pepper. And then I toasted my bread once it came out of the microwave. This way it holds up better to holding a sandwich. So there's my stack of three eggs, a slice of American cheese, and of course the delicious homemade bacon, um, three slices of that. And then we're going to top it up and enjoy this delicious bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Um, look at that. Is that not perfection? <laughs> I give you a 360 view and um, you could you could do so much with this sandwich. You can make it like a BLT. You could do all kinds of cool things. So anyways, snack, obviously, unflavored collagen, uh, heavy whipping cream and coffee. Uh, mix that all up. I do it every single day. <laughs> and next we're going to do dinner. Alrighty, it's now time to make dinner. We're gonna have meatloaf with garlic green beans tonight. So I'm gonna flip the camera angle down so you can watch it. And let's go ahead and make some delicious meatloaf. Okay, let's make our homemade sugar-free ketchup. Sometimes I'll double and triple this and make up a big batch. But for this case, we're just gonna make a single batch. All you're gonna need is some tomato paste and some filtered water. And um, I have my the heat on my stove at medium low just to bring it up to a gentle boil. Um, next, we're going to add a sweetener of choice. In this case, I use Swerve sweetener, um, but half the time I'll use Lacanto monk fruit. So just use your favorite keto sweetener. Um, and I mean, even stevia would work. And then you're going to add onion powder, garlic powder, salt, paprika. <laughs> And cloves. I didn't realize how much the taste of ketchup that I really enjoy came from cloves. Um, it wasn't until I made my own that I was really, uh, uh, you know, aware of that. So don't forget your ground cloves. And then next, add your ground dried mustard. And um, the mustard also gives it a great flavor. So definitely pretty cool. And finally, we're going to add our, our, our vinegar, and I'm using apple cider vinegar. You can use white vinegar, vinegar, but I feel like you want to get those health benefits from the apple cider vinegar. Um, now bring it up to a gentle boil um, and cover it and let it simmer for about 10 to 15. So we're going to use ground beef. Feel free to use any type of meat you are looking for. Um, ground turkey, ground chicken, you know, lots of a variety of um, ground meats. Anything, just do, you do you. Uh, but for tonight, we're gonna use ground beef, which is 80-20, um, fat to protein ratio. So the recipe will be li uh, listed down below. I've made this many times um, on my channel. <laughs> so I've got a tried and true um, meatloaf recipe that will for surely not disappoint. So obviously I'm gonna go ahead and make it pretty quickly, but the recipe link will be down below for you to enjoy. Um, the next thing is grated Parmesan cheese. And following that up with some garlic powder. And onion powder. Italian seasoning. And then obviously you can't have a meatloaf without some salt and pepper. Oh, I've seen go off, lose it, there we go. Okay, and some salt and pepper. All right, now it's time to add our meat and our eggs. 
We're gonna go ahead and cut it open. Oven just preheated and it's ready. I'm gonna cook this at 400 degrees and then we're gonna do two eggs. That holds it together. And now we're going to just get in there and mix it all around. Okay, and next we're going to shape it. I haven't ever tried doing it this way before, so I am actually curious. <laughs> I've seen this method where you use the pan just to shape it, and then you put it on a pan and let it bake. So we're gonna try that, this method. It could be a total mess, or it could be something that we really like, you know, because you eat with your eyes, and if the, the meatloaf has a really pretty presentation it just makes it that much sweeter so I'm going to make sure that's good and smushed in here and then I'll show you the next step all right we're gonna see if this works <laughs> I'm gonna try and get this out in one piece oh it looks pretty good so now when it cooks it's gonna have an opportunity to let the juices fall and it'll make a nice outer crust on the meatloaf. So, there you have it. And then we're gonna take about a quarter cup of our homemade ketchup and spread that on the top. So, Measure, measure, measure. This way you know how much. And I'm just gonna take a paintbrush and gently paint that on the top. And it's so tasty. It's just gonna give it a nice crust. And it's homemade ketchup, so it's guilt-free. And then we'll take this up a notch when it comes to flavor. All right, and now I'm gonna put it in an oven at 400 degrees. Okay, so if you've ever wanted to figure out how, much, how many servings in something that you've made, first of all, you're gonna use a scale, it's the best way to do it. <laughs> so zero out the, the weight of the jar and the strainer. Next thing, all you do is just pour the ketchup in there and get a total weight. Let me get a spatula. Okay, so we have 310 grams is our total weight. Now, roughly, tablespoons is a good serving size, so you would weigh out how much does tablespoons uh, weigh, and then that's you're gonna divide that into your total weight, and that'll give you roughly how many servings you have. So let's go do that. Okay, so you've zeroed this out, so we have, um, so this way we'll be able to see how much each tablespoon weighs. So that's roughly one tablespoon. And the weight is 22 grams. Okay, so 310 was our total. 22 grams is each tablespoon's weight. So roughly, we have 14 tablespoons or servings in our cat macro. So when I set the macros up, I can tell you that per tablespoon, <laughs> I have 14 servings in this recipe. Okay, so now we're gonna make our garlic green beans. I have butter melting in the pan, my, gar my green beans have steamed, and then all we're gonna do is season up the green beans with garlic, salt, and pepper. Um, and this is such an easy side dish. You could have this with anything. So I typically do green beans when I have something heavier, like a, like a, a hamburger or a, uh, you know, a steak, something that's higher in fat, so I'll offset it with the green beans. Um, this is something I've always done, just a tip. 
But anyways, garlic, pepper, salt, everything to taste. I'm not afraid of putting some spice in there, um, but definitely uh, you do you. So anyways, I'm gonna mix that around and we're gonna serve up our delicious dinner. Um, and then the meatloaf just came out of the oven. It took way longer <laughs> to cook it this way, so I'm gonna keep it in the pan next time. Um, so FYI. Um, and there's the finished, you know, green beans waiting on the meatloaf. Um, and next, whoop, camera's fogging up. I'm gonna aim for about five to six ounces of gr uh, green beans, garlic green beans. But your serving size will be based on how it fits into your macro. So I did six ounces, and I'm also gonna do six ounces of cooked meatloaf. Um, that's just, a, it's what I've always done. It's easy number to remember. Well, I guess it was five and three quarters, close enough, but a tablespoon of. So I can't do macros today because I need to take my dog to the vet. I think she had a stroke. Um, my beautiful Belgian Shepherd, she's 14 years old next month. So um, I just need to do a family emergency. So I hope you understand and I will post all the recipes down below um, and I will see you next time. I'm Jess and you're watching Keto Rewind.